Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to talk about iterative calculations in Excel, how you can enable them, and use them to attempt to get around a circular reference in Excel. So here we have a situation where we have revenues, expenses, salaries, and profit, where the salaries are based on the amount of profit that is earned. And basically a circular reference means that a cell either directly or indirectly is referencing itself again in a calculation. So as you can see in this example, the profit is revenue minus expenses minus salaries, and then salaries comes out of profit. So as you can see, salaries is referenced twice in this calculation. And one thing that they can do to attempt to get around this is to enable iterative calculations. So you can go to File, Options, Formulas, Right here, there in, in the in the first tab, there's going to be calculation options. In the right, there's me checkbox that checkbox that says enable iterative calculations. Basically, what this does is it makes it to where Excel will run through the calculation numerous numerous times until it attempts to find a formula or an answer. Now, no, this can be useful because it can kind of be a quick and dirty way to force Excel to do the calculation over and over and over again until it finds something that works. But even if the Excel does a calculation, that does not mean that, that the calculation will be correct. So a word of warning doesn't mean the calculation will be correct. So the maximum iterations is the number of times that the calculation will occur. And the maximum change is the change in value between each test. So basically Excel might try as a point zero one, so point zero so point zero one, so point zero zero two, um, so on and so forth. So okay. And as you can see, this is what happened after the iterative calculations it was enabled and it was able to find the answer. Now, as a note, this is a very simplistic example. Circular references can become a massive pain in the butt. This is a rough, quick and dirty workaround that's worth the try and is not something to depend on. But another thing that you can do to be able to try to, and attempt to fix your circular reference is to go to formulas. And then you can go to chase trace per sentence. So basically, so basically by clicking trace per sentence, you are able to see how the cell is used in other calculations. And then by tracing dependence, you can use this to see what other cells depend on the current cell that you're in for the calculation that you're doing. And another and what you can do is you can go through and you can replace the answer with with a uh, number one for example and just do control z um and just try to figure out like what specific cell is causing the issue and then change references from there um as an attempt to be able to fix through any circular error issues that you might be having um as you can see it, it says that it's how it's the profits and chase percentage and it, it shows that salaries so move the arrows real quick at the trace percentage. As you can see, that at, when I clicked it one time, it showed that the size, that, that size depends on the profit, and then it showed what the profit depended on, so the profit depended on these other ones. Um, not perfect, but it can help you better understand what is going on. So with that being said, I hope that you found this to be useful. Um, best of luck with Excel, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Any video ideas? Um, and, and please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.